Hey friends, this video is for our kindergarten through fourth grade team for November week three. All month long, we're learning the virtue of gratitude, letting others know you see how they've helped you. In our memory verse for this month, hello. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. Psalm, Psalm 136, one. So we've been learning all about gratitude this month. They have been great reminders for me, and I love that we're teaching the kids all about gratitude. And in week three, we head to the book of Luke and discover a significant moment when 10 men with a serious skin condition asked Jesus to heal them. As their skin cleared up, the men were so thrilled about the miracle that most of them ran off and never returned to thank Jesus. Only one man, a Samaritan, turned around and showed his gratitude, and Jesus made a point to commend this man's faith. So our bottom line for this week is take time to say thank you. This is a simple idea, but it's often so hard to put into practice. People offer their help with kindness and love, yet we often take those people for granted. We pray that through this moment in Jesus' life, kids will understand the importance of remembering to show gratitude when others are kind to them. What a great lesson to teach our kiddos. So jumping into our leader guide, just make sure that you are to your rooms by 820 and 1020. Don't forget we've got free coffee and donuts in the garage room for all of our leaders. I think after the new year, we're going to resume our prayer time, kind of. Um, I'll let you know more about that as we get closer. But um, make sure you got your leader tag printed off. You've got everything ready to go in your room. Kiddos will start to check in at 8.30 and 10.30. As they can come in, as they come in, they can play with toys or they can do their coloring page for this week which shows nine of the people that Jesus healed running off and just the one coming back to say thank you. Um, make sure that as kids come in, you get to know their names, ask them where they're going to school. Then at 8.45 and 10.45, you can do a little intro game called Shout It Out. So this is a fun game. You're going to have the kids stand in their space, and you're going to tell them when you say something, they're going to do something. So these kind of cheers. So when you call eggs... They're going to say bacon, and they're going to lie on the floor with their feet and arms extended, wiggling like they're frying bacon. When you say spaghetti, the kids are going to say meatballs, and they're going to tuck themselves into balls. When you say pop, the kids will say corn, and they'll do a star jump. When you say macaroni and cheese, the kids say everybody freeze, and then they freeze in a wacky pose. So you'll practice those, and then you'll call them out just playing a game, going fast, going slow, and you're going to end with macaroni and cheese. If you've got kindergarten and first grade kids, maybe eliminate one of these earlier ones so that they don't have so many to remember. Um, and then, oh, I forgot to put what, how this makes sense. Um, so this ties into large group because you were going to say, so we talked about shouting things out. Well, we're going to go hear a story about somebody who remembered to come back and give a shout out to Jesus. So let's go down to large group. So at 8.55 and 10.55, you'll head across the hall to large group. When you get back from large group, you can pass out snack. And as kids are gathered in a circle to eat, introduce yourself, um, have the kids introduce themselves, ask for any prayer requests or praises. And then you're going to use the memory verse to guide you in your prayer today. So you're going to have the kids provide some examples about what they can thank God for as you pray and tell kids that they can thank God throughout their day. They don't just have to save it for prayer time. So then um, you can kind of lead the kids praying through the memory verse. You can say, give thanks to the Lord. We can thank God in prayer. So what are some things you guys are thankful for today? Why do we thank him? Because he is good. We can thank God for being good. What other things can we say about God? There's some examples. His faithful love continues forever. So we can thank God for loving us forever. What are some ways God shows us love? And then you can just close down with this little prayer or you can pray your own. For our memory verse, you're going to have kiddos um, help, help show them how to look up Psalm 136 verse 1. And then you can practice the memory verse with motion several times. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pass out these pages that say thank you for. And you're going to have kids write or draw something on the page that they can thank God for. So you'll close by saying something like, it's important to take time to say thank you to God because it shows God how we love who God is and appreciate what he's done. So remember, take time to say thank you to God. So this is something that they're thanking God for. Then for our little review activity, you're going to give partners or maybe a group of three these little pages. So you've got the Samaritan, you've got Luke, and you've got the men with the skin disease. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to have the pairs or groups hold up the correct picture to show your answers. And if you have time after you play the game, you can have kids make thank you cards for someone in their life. So that's the I'm thankful for you. And they're going to make thank you cards for somebody. It could be a teacher, a coach, a parent, sibling, friend, grandparent, etc. So here's how the game goes. You've got this little picture thing. 
the kids have their three pictures here. And you're going to say, someone spoke with many people and wrote down all the events of Jesus's life. Who was that? That was Luke. So they'll hold up Luke. Jesus met someone while walking to Jerusalem. Who was that? The answer, the men with the skin disease. Jesus told someone to go and show themselves to the priests. Who was that? skin disease and then the one someone saw that he was healed and threw himself at jesus's feet who was that the samaritan so they'll just hold up the different cards as you read the questions then after you play the game if you have time you can have them draw a picture or write a thank you note for someone in their lives and you'll just close by saying something like everyone did an incredible job of remembering the events from today's story i'm so thankful for the way that everybody worked together if we can learn anything from today's story, it's the fact that there's a difference between feeling thankful and showing our thankfulness. Showing our thanks takes time, energy, and thoughtfulness. When we feel thankful, it's important to show it. So today we wrote little notes of thanks for people in our lives. Throughout the week, make sure that you hand them out to the people that you wrote them for. We may not always see the impact that our thanks has, but we can know it's always a good idea to take time to say thank you. And then if you want, you have some bonus discussion questions. What would you say is the main reason we should take time to say thank you? Apart from thanking God in prayer, what are other ways you can show gratitude to God? Who do you need to take time to say thank you to this week? And what will help you remember to do that? And if somebody says thank you, but they don't really mean it, is it truly gratitude? Why or why not? Mm, some critical thinking. Now. So that's it for this week, guys. I know I am so thankful for all of you. Thankful. Thank you for the amazing work that you do every week to help teach our students, the next generation. What a gift that you guys are to our church. So thank you so much for everything you do, and we'll see you on Sunday.